Blog Talk Radio. Hey guys, this is Those Guys with your host Matt Marrero along with your other host. Tristan Walker. And we're doing a show today, Tristan Walter. We're doing a review that is very fucking long overdue. Not as overdue as it was in between the actual seasons of the show. Not that long what? in between. But long enough that I'm kind of sitting here looking at the date of when the show aired in the U.S., and I'm thinking, wow, a year ago? Holy shit, really? Yeah. Like, you know what? I thought it was actually longer. But no, no, no. I mean, well, maybe it was looking at the Japanese air date, but the U.S. air date, I th- I'm pretty sure it was literally a year or like a year and a month to, to the day, yeah. like around this time. Yeah. Right. But anyway. What, what, what are we talking about today, Tristan? Uh, uh, the, the wall, the wall is the, the people, and the wall, and the thing is alive, and the and the people are becoming them, and the and the, uh, uh, and the, uh... an anti-religious sentiment. <laughs> it's Attack on Tristan. Too. Tristan, I have to say, Tristan, looking so, at Pokemon, you. <laughs> yeah, looking at Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and now this, I don't think these shows are for children, Tristan. Oh, for, okay. Um, what are they teaching our youth, child, uh, Tristan? What are they teaching I our mean, youth? I would argue that this one would probably be one of the ones that pushes 13 and up, at least, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Just just four kids dub of this? Oh, dear God. Oh! Well, yeah, maybe don't let your seven-year-old watch Attack on Titan. Maybe fucking don't. That'd be great. It's on the Netflix Kids app. Um, well, <laughs> maybe don't. Mind. No, no, it's not. Um, but anyway, here's so with this Attack on Titan season two. Obviously, it's all all of us know. And if you don't know, well, then you're a very lucky individual. Uh, but as all of us know, even though I hadn't seen the first season, I still had known that all the Attack on Titan fans that I knew. Uh, were just itching for a season two. Yes, they went on to read the manga, so to be fair, the anime's purpose, it served its purpose, which the anime's purpose right. is, uh, in Japan anyway, a pur- the purpose of an anime is to promote the manga. Right. It gets a lot more, yeah, it gets a lot more awkward here, because in the U.S., uh, they both come out at completely different times, sometimes one without the other entirely. Right. So, yeah, so in the U.S., it's not that, it, that's not the goal of, of an anime. But in Japan, the goal of an anime is this is being made to promote the manga, nothing else. Now, yes, I'm not saying that the anime are soulless or anything like that. I'm not trying to you know, get, uh, get into that at all because of the fact that when it comes to anime, yes, of course, people care about making it. People you know, sometimes love the anime either more than the manga or don't even read the manga. But I think, uh, and I mean I think, it's just been stated on the record an anime is made to promote its manga counterpart, and that's why sometimes yeah. with certain shows, there's only like one season of an anime, and then never any yeah, yeah. of it again. And people, at yeah. least, I don't know about uh, in Japan, because I don't know the Japanese side of things for the fan base, but the U.S. fan base becomes infuriated. Yeah. And and technically that wasn't the case with this, because even though everyone asked when Attack on Titan Season 2 was coming, I, in my in my heart of hearts, I always knew it was coming only because it made so much fucking money True. that I assumed the issue was something along the lines of um, maybe the studio was too busy, uh, because a lot of these studios are booked for years. So I wonder if right. they made the show, they were like, yeah, let's make it to promote the, the manga and didn't realize it was going to be that much of a runaway hit. Yeah. So, Possible. not that it was, not that I, not that I'm thinking, oh, you know, like, everyone thought it would be a bad show, but, like, just, it became such a huge hit, and it just is strange that it took this many years for the second season to come out. Right. But, um, but it did, and we're happy. And frankly, I'm happy that it was 12 episodes instead of 24. Um, it left me itching for a little bit more. And frankly, if we get some more in 2018, that I think it would be nice to have yearly Attack on Titan from now on until they catch up with the manga, then they'll wait a bit. Right. 
Yeah, because um, what I mean, at least as far as I know, they've definitely gone through at least another arc in the manga. So I'm like, we could we could get an anime now, what? right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. We can. They've gotten. I've got. I've, I'm pretty sure they've gotten a lot farther, especially looking at how many uh, volumes were adapted via the first season. It wasn't that no. many, really. No, no. No. So, because um, I know the author has gone on some hiatuses, but I believe it's like they have enough to adapt at least a good three seasons before maybe rethinking some stuff. Right. Right? I think they can adapt another, like, two to three seasons. Oh, yeah. From what I, I from, so too. Yeah. yeah. All right, but looking at what they've adapted in this season, what we're actually talking about today, um, so I have a question for you, because we talked a little bit about this on the phone before getting on the podcast. Uh, So my question to you is, were you less hyped for this season than the first season? Because I was hyped only because I had just experienced the first season for the first time. So I'm sitting here like, wow, what's next? So I'm hyped. You, I think you were telling me you weren't as hyped, or, or maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it was funny. Like, at the end of the first season, the whole, you know, cliffhanger with the Titan face on the wall actually kind of de-hyped me in a way mm. because it it left me with a what the fuck is going on now. Like, nothing has been answered, and now this. I'm like, really? But then this one, so then when I finally got around to watching this one, and we definitely got a lot more, you know, what the fuck, but it felt like, some things are answered, but obviously not a lot. And then a whole bunch of other stuff started happening. Oddly enough, that yeah, got so, me more hype. It's weird. Okay. I flipped only because I was hyped going into it. Then showing um, the Beast Titan or just the Beast in general, that, you know, the yeah. Sasquatch, essentially, right? Showing oh him. <laughs> he, no, he, he has to be uh, based on. But he has to be based on Sasquatch, though. Like, that's not even a joke. I I guess, yeah. I mean, just looking at the dude, he's either based off... Sa- like, he's like a Sasquatch slash uh, King Kong with a voice. King Kong on Broadway. Right. Um, that, that's the Broadway they would have wanted King Kong to be doing, just singing Rent, not, you know, destroying Manhattan. Uh, oh, so, but seriously, though... Uh, when they showed the Beast Titan, I was like, wow, this is an interesting development. Also, my brain went back to what I had uh, hypothesized or, yeah, hypothesized for the first two reviews that we did. We're like, is it aliens? <clears throat> so my brain went to, is this like Master Alien making Titan? I'm in. What is this? And when you introduce someone like that early on in the season, making me hyped, thinking, what are we going to get for the rest of it? And then we don't really see him again till the end of the second season. That really right. kind of de-hyped me in a way, funnily enough. Hmm. Yeah, well, because here's something, too. You and I took the Titan in the wall thing differently. I thought yeah, it was yeah. the wall is crumbling. It's a Titan on the outside looking in, hyping us right. for the next season. You took it the right way, which was, no, it's inside the wall, which again, which again makes things really fucking confusing because it seems like they're trying to go for some, I I made the joke earlier, anti-religion, but they're going for some like this religion is really more of a cult, yada, yada. There's some conspiracy going on there. Uh, But like, I, I want to see what all the pieces, you know, be, become, because right now okay. I don't see a conspiracy working without it seeming really dumb. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like, like before it was like, oh, they thought they were in the right and they were, you know, above everybody else. It's like, well, now they're actually hiding something. And it's like, no, we're trying to protect humanity. It's like, wait a minute, what? I mean, there's still a bunch of yeah. dicks for not telling anyone what the hell is going on. I guess if they couldn't, but still. Like how the yes. you know, survey calls were just looking at them like, and you didn't think this was relevant to tell us why? It's really frustrating. No, I love it. Just survey corps. Why did you not tell us? We believe in a separation between church and state. Get the fuck out. Oh my God. 
Oh my God. Get the fuck out. But um, so but here's the thing, right? The reason why it confuses me is because it's like it's the, the church made the Titans. Why? To protect humanity from them. Excuse me. To put them in the wall. I'm seriously still confused here. The walls are made of Titans. All right. All right. <laughs> Well, no, the walls being, here's the thing, the wall being made of titans potentially makes sense if it's like the zombie Walking Dead thing, where if you don't know, in the Walking Dead, um, as long as you make sure that the zombie guts don't get, like, in your eye to infect you, if you rub them on you, the zombies think you are one of them. Are one of them, right. Okay. I mean, I've seen that in other movies, too, so... Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Well, wait, you, it's funny. Did you see them in the Telltale games? Well, yeah, it's a Telltale game, so they got it from the comic, yes. Yes, yes. But, uh, no, it's kind of funny, because you did other media, and I was like, zombie media or Walking Dead media? Because I know you played the game. Yeah. But um, but my point is is that uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to that, it kind of makes sense. So you do wonder if a similar idea is with, oh, they're in the walls because that's what's helping protect us. And to be fair, and I hate to give the church some kind of credit here because they've been in this media, in this show, they've been jerks the whole time. But the right. fact that Titans haven't actually come out of the wall itself. Yeah. So in other words, well. they've done a good job. <laughs> yeah, that's the weird part. Um, but I, it also feels like they they made a deal with another side, like like because the other side is you know the people who are people but also transform into titans, and it feels like they have their own society going on now. Yeah, which which is also oh another really thing too. Yeah, yeah. Something I want to mention, by the way, and I understand the idea, you know, this is a manga slash anime, so I get that, the idea that every time we think we've seen, like, a big baddie, they're not really the big baddie. I get right. it. That's just the name of the <laughs> game. I think it's the real enemy here. What? Never mind. Yeah, right? Just, no, I feel like that could be related to any show, though, where it's like, who do you think is the real enemy here? Uh, Frieza. After him. What? Uh, uh, it's a what? cat god. We'll get to it later. Oh, God. It's just... But my whole thing is that, like, I understand big villain, not always the biggest villain. It's just... A, it's yeah. a trope. We have to accept it. But the fact that Colossal Titan isn't <laughs> who we thought it was... Like... When we when we saw Colossal Titan, it felt like, oh shit, this is the head honcho, this is the big baddie, right. and then the Beast Titan comes in, and it's just like, oh wait, so are they equals? Are they separate groups? And then we just learn that eventually it's like Colossal Titan is like, we're just reporting into someone that you don't know about yet. Right. Okay. I mean, so, it's weird. I like kind of. Like, the deal with Colossal not being, you know, a big threat, it's just, <laughs> they gave him, he's Colossal because he's tall as a person, <laughs> which kind of makes me laugh at this point. I mean, that it it's, seems silly, too, but. Well, the reason why, too, I would like to mention is, and I don't think this part is nitpicking, every single person that has become a Titan so far in some way or another, even if there are, like, there were some differences with um, Ymir. There were. Right. But at least she has long hair. Right. At least. And she's a fighter. Like, there's just certain things here and there that you're like, okay, that one's a fighter. Okay, that one uh, is built and also has the same hair. As, like, you know, he's built like a football yeah, player, i.e., I mean. like, of, yeah. You see, like, okay, Annie... All right, same fighting stance. It's like, right, yeah. what the fuck? I can't remember the other uh, his partner's name, his friend's name. Do you remember his name or no? 
Oh, I can't remember it either. I'll look it up. Would you be able to look it up while we're on the show or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The reason why I'm saying it is because did his friend just constantly fucking blow steam off camera? We didn't fucking know? Like, what... What defining thing about him is I blow steam? Like, is he like what is like his friend gonna be like? All right, I gotta be honest with you guys. I have a thing where I rip off my own skin and attach it back on. Oh, Bertold. Like, That's I annoying. thought Bertold was was. No, Reiner. Reiner oh, Ber- Reiner. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Berthold, yeah, I just, for me, when I see Berthold, I just don't think you are Colossus. Yeah. Yeah, you, I don't know. Colossus, we always, yeah, you thought it would be so much more menacing and it would be a really big player and he's just a mook. It's funny. Yeah. The idea, like, I kind of got more okay with that because of how Colossus actually moves. He's I mean, he's so massive, he really can't get around, and the only defense he has is to blow off steam to keep them from attacking the nape. But while he, like, when they were fighting on the wall, while he seems to be projecting the steam, it seems like he can't do anything else. So he's actually a lot more vulnerable than the first time you see him makes him out to be. Yes, but here's the thing, though. Apparently, doesn't he know, like, fucking flash depth? Like, he can appear in an instant. See, that's the first the, time well, they showed the him. Bolt. Yeah, he disappeared in the lightning bolt. I don't think that has anything to do with his power. That was probably something else. Oh, great. We're going to get another Titan. Wait a minute. Quickly, who has who fucking drew a lightning bolt in Season 1, Episode 4? Oh, God. Yeah, right. Um, Has anyone drawn lightning bolts before? Has anyone mentioned that they like lightning? That's hilarious. Well, they're now a titan. Lightning titan. I love the weather when it I love the weather when it rains, Titan. Fucking Titan. But uh um, That's just how, how did you feel about the it's gonna be now. They're just kinda of, Yeah, basically. It's like it wasn't it wasn't There's... already bad enough. It's like, nope, now we have to have Titan screenings. How are we going to do that? You don't wanna know. Um yeah. I I have a so it's kinda of funny, it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna be like it's going to be like everyone is a Titan fighting Titans, but they also all don't know it. Yeah, right. It's going to be like undercover scroll shit, where, like, you know, scrolls from Marvel or no? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Scrolls are an alien race that they can mimic uh, a certain person that they choose to. So at one point in the comics, I'm not going to tell you who, uh, even though I can tell you they were brought back to life, but, like, one person in the comics died in a comic, um, like, I think in the mid-2000s. And everyone was like, oh, no, so-and-so died. And then when they did the autopsy, they're like, what the fuck is wrong with her? Why did she turn green? And apparently she was a scroll in disguise. So then there was, like, this manhunt, like, wait, how many of them have been among us this entire time? Right. And certain people in the Marvel Universe were discovered to be Skrulls. Well, that's... Yeah, so... Yes, and and some of them who weren't Skrulls, they found found out later that, like, they were still alive, like, at the Skrull spaceship, I think, but, like, their minds were linked. It was fucking weird. It was dumb. It was just Uh, a way to try to be like, they're not actually dead and gone, guys. They still exist, just off-planet for God knows how many years. Anyway. um, Whatever, man. All that that matters is that it reminds me of that only because of with, with Reiner... With him going so undercover that, like, he just doesn't even... He loses sense right. of himself? Yeah. That, I thought, was interesting. Because he's just starting babbling, and then Berthold is looking at him like, Dude, we, are you are you shitting me right now? <laughs> uh, I think it would be more interesting if it was, like, either a power or if it was... Because the problem is, I don't know how the Japanese read to you, because I know you you read the subtitles, I watched the dub, but it just felt yeah. like... I mean, And Ymir was making fun of him, so it could just be her making fun of and being, a, you know, a POS, yeah. but, like, it kind of felt as if they were trying to go for some kind of, like, split personality thing, which is, like, no, like, don't yeah. do that. 
because uh, uh, the thing is that like it's not a split personality if like he's just jumping from one to another. Like, and I guess like I think you were telling me over the phone and the way they were describing it in the in the show itself, like the sense of guilt that he had and the sense of duty and how they contrasted and how he didn't want to do this and how they're all still technically kids. Which is true. Right. They're all really yeah. young. It's just a lot of mental um, strain on it. He gets his covers mixed up. Yes. Also, especially okay. It's funny. They're kids. Some of them, quote unquote. But like, if Ymir is to be believed, apparently they've lived for some of them years and years and years. Yeah, hundreds of years, right? So that's also weird. So, like, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what they want to – like, if that gets described later on as, like, oh, technically they're still human, so their brains can only hold so much info, which is a real thing. So right. that's why, like, we can't become immortal. Like, even if our bodies became immortal, our brains would be fucked. Right, yeah. Because we can only hold, hold so much information. So we, we couldn't live, like, a thousand years. Right. Even if our bodies could, our brains would just be – it would be insane trying to live every single yeah. minute, you know, retaining all of this data for like a thousand years. So if yeah. they try to work that in somewhere, because apparently, as we learn later on in the season, uh, humans are becoming titans, which like it, – it was it, it's yeah. funny because we're like, well, duh. No, 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 but not like the Aaron situation, right, reversed. There are people who are like – no, 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 no. I, I, you know, I, I see myself as a titan, but I become one of you little shits to infiltrate you. Right. That's how, that's how they make it seem, right? Berthold, Reiner, and Ymir. They yeah, make it, the yeah. way they make it seem like, they make it seem like titan is us. We have to look like you little shits to try and, you know, defend and ourselves titan. against the plague that is you. Yeah. And yet there are still Titans that will attack them and not, you know, recognize them as, you know, oh, you're another Titan. But they can also control Titans. Sort of. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, Aaron can. Like, Annie couldn't, but it looked it like... It seemed um, like Annie... So I don't know if that's a thing with Annie, like if that was a power she had or... They knew that hey, if I if I send out a distress call, they will come and eat me, and I can slip away. I can use their own nature to my advantage, or whether she was actually yes. in command of them or not. Well, I mean, it's funny. I don't think it was a power because if it is, then Aaron has it too, and it seems like that's what they were worried about. Like, oh shit, he might be able to learn how to do that. Right. That's yeah. what um, that's what Mikasa was saying. Yeah, or even Reiner, I think. Yeah, because. They were charged with capturing him, and it's like, oh, please don't let you of all people be the one we're looking for. And apparently, he is. Yeah. So, and apparently, with Aaron, he at least from the looks of it, with with what uh, you know, his dad, like from the flashbacks and all that stuff, it seems like with yeah. Aaron, he was a human who became a titan. Right. And well, apparently, like there's got to be like what three different. There's got to be, like, three different uh, groups. There's got to be, you know, just humans, just standard human, humans with the power to transform, and then Titan. And, no, like, each of them all have their own agenda. Okay. Where do you think fucking Kaiju, uh, you know, Beast Titan, <laughs> where do you think he lies? Well, I think he's probably with you know, humans that can transform into Titans. And he seems like he's got to be one of the higher-ups. But the whole thing when he's climbing the wall at the end. And yet, it seems like he could command Titans as well. Yes, yes, it does. No, but he just seems so odd because, like, is he referred to as, like, is his full name, like, Beast Titan? No, I think that's just the, the name they gave him. Like, is it okay. like a code name, so only, kind of like how Colossal and Armored, you know? Right, right, right. No, I'm only asking because, like, he has something, and I'm not trying to still push the alien agenda, but he's just something <laughs> otherworldly about him. He just oh, doesn't definitely. fit. He he kind of strikes me as the guy who has, like, forbidden knowledge. So, like, he knows yeah. what's going on, and no one else does. It, it's just... 
looking at, like, because this is the thing, man, looking at every other Titan, and I know we probably just become, like, accustomed to them, I guess, after seeing two seasons worth, but all of them fit in a sense. Yes, they're all weird and wacky and drawn to not fit, but they all fit in the sense that, like, okay, you are, quote, unquote, human in a sense, which is why now it's creepier to know that, you know, humans can become titans not in the way that we know in the way that we're weirdly learning about from that one town i forgot what his name was the recruits town where he was uh, like i think it's connie what was his name yeah no that was horrifying yes yes because he was like that was probably the most horrifying scene for me was just connie looking up it's like that one looks like my mother and and the scariest thing is that, like, where would the town have gone if they weren't eaten, right? right. If they're not eaten, and the, where the fuck did the town go? And saying that one looks well, like my mom. In, yeah, that brings in that whole thing that Ymir talks about with her past life. Like, there was a cult who kind of worshipped her, and it's like the king's blood. And I wonder if that links back to, you know, Aaron's dad giving him that serum and like, you know, you're going to need this. This is going to suck, but you're going to need this. I wonder if that's King's blood or humans seemingly going about. It's like, oh, if they find anyone with that, they kick them over the wall, over a wall. I don't know if it was their walls that we see in, you know, our city. Mm. But, um, so it, it feels like stuff is starting to link up, like I'm starting to see a bigger picture, and then you get, you know, like Connie looking at his hometown. It's like everyone's gone, and there's a Titan that looks like my mom. So I'm wondering if they were, like, that town was captured, and they were all given the serum kind of deal. I have this odd feeling that, like, either the Beast Titan or someone else can just do some really weird, like, if you were thinking of it from, like, an FMA perspective, some weird, like, transmutation shit of, like, I can just turn them into Titans whenever the fuck I want to. Yeah, kind of. Almost. But I still don't know, because here's the thing. The idea that, like, oh, the Titans appeared X amount of years ago, literally out of nowhere, what the flying fuck, right? Right. It, again... I just, and I'm, I'm not, I'm sorry, but, like, where the fuck does Beast Titan appear, whoever the fuck is the head honcho, to then be like, yes, let's turn them into Titans? Right. What, what's, I know it's a fantasy world, it's not meant to be, like, our <laughs> world, twist. but, like, what? Plot twist is Eisen. What? <laughs> Eisen Plot twist what? <laughs> Eisen? Oh, yeah, Eisen. That sounds about right. It would be yeah, Ivan. Just like I couldn't, I couldn't take over one series, so I hopped over into another one. And everyone's like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" I thought you were gonna say plot twist. They're not from, they're not aliens from the sky. They're fucking mole people. Oh God! I mean, the, the, I, sure, I, I'll believe anything at this point. <laughs> I'll believe just about anything. The but, mole um, people came up, looked into the sky, saw the aliens come down. Looked at each other and went, I think we can reach an agreement. Oh, my God. It's the Mole Titan. That'll, that'll be next. So, I Honestly, yeah, I can see that, actually. Um, but, no, my th- yeah, that's the thing, though, because my thing is I feel like there's three different groups. Like, humans are technically accounted for, but, like, I'm not referring to the humans in this case. I'm talking about, like, enemy groups, quote, unquote. Like, there's humans uh, that can turn into Titans. I feel like there's Titans that can turn into humans. And then I feel like there's just this weird in between. I mean, I guess, I don't know where you would link the church and all this, but like still, I don't know. Like there's just something about the way when you see Aaron being like, I don't remember being a baby and a Titan. Like I, like, I don't know. Like unless we, unless we find some weird things where like, you know, they're talking to Aaron and Aaron's like, wait, I don't remember being four or some weird shit like that. Like, but unless, yeah, but I'm assuming that you know, with that flashback, the way it was done and everything, it's Aaron literally being human until his dad was like, right. "Hey, son, how you doing, bud? Dad, oh, what's sorry, that needle? Yeah. Remember yeah. the flu oh, shot? Don't worry. Yeah, 
This is yeah. not that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just boom, hits him. Uh, but, no, but, like, my thing is I just feel like it's, like, we have one side of, like, Eren being like, I can transform now. We have another side of, like, we've been Titans for years and we've been abused. Right. I mean, maybe they, maybe they were human and they were just abused for being Titans. You're right. That could be the case. But just the way they speak, it's, they speak more like they've been more Titan than human for the longest time. Right. Then and then also... this, like, what? the, uh, um, uh, Sasha, when she gets back to her hometown and it looks like there's a huge, like, they're not Titan sized yet, but they're like a, that was Titan creepy as of, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, that was the creepiest part. Connie's Village was the second creepiest part. That one was horrifying because it was just like, it's eating my mother. I'm sitting here watching because everyone else left. It hasn't eaten me yet and because for some, it's still attacking yes, my for, for some odd reason, it's like, hold on a second, kid. I'll be right there. Just, just can, you, can you wait there for a second, kid? What's your name? I'm eating your mom. Oh, ask your mom, but she's bleeding out here. Yeah. Like, oh, well, that here's the hard. thing, too. Well, okay, I have to admit, though, while it is horrifying, we did see one that was quote-unquote human-sized in the castle. Right. Like, when, like when, when the doors well, opened? Right. I mean, I would argue that's a bit bigger than human size, but still able to but fit in the castle. it was still... Well, even the one in the house, it could get in the house, but it wasn't like... Yeah. Uh, it wasn't seven feet. So, it was like, taller. Like, because cause you know how some of the Titans, like the smaller... They have, like, the really huge eyes or the odd proportion. Yeah, no, it didn't have that. It, no, looked, it looked humanoid, yeah. more humanoid than the other right. ones, but it was still... Well, it, but it wasn't like... Eating the mother's legs looks almost yeah. human. But it wasn't not, like not seven humanoid. foot. It was... No, I know, yeah. but it wasn't um, seven foot tall. Yeah. It was taller than that, is what I'm saying. It was taller than, like, yeah. seven feet, which right. is still, like, there are people that are taller than seven feet, but, like, it's not, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's not the norm, especially in this world that we're right. looking at. Um, but, no, but the reason why I'm saying, like, oh, there's, like, a different organization, because, like, I just, I don't know, I don't feel like, when I, and I know he just looks that different, but when I look at the Beast Titan, and he speaks, and he goes, I think I'm speaking your language, right? It doesn't sound oh, like he geez. once spoke English or whatever fucking language, well, he, you know. Yeah, that's standard for them. Oh, God. That he was just, horrifying. He too. just, yeah, no, I look at him and I'm like, dude, you are, again, you do not seem like you belong here. You seem like you traveled from a far, far distance to get here. Oh. And you, you're looking at these humans like they're ants. Which, that's why yeah. it makes me think, like, you know, flying saucers and shit. True. But, um, what's so odd is how, like, I think if the guy reacted, I forgot his name, but if the if the soldier reacted naturally, I feel like he, I know he was never going to let him live. Something in my heart tells me he was never going to. But something makes yeah. me feel like he would have at least talked to him longer. Right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the way he went out was terrible, too. He like he seemed inquisitive. I mean, the is just dying horribly. Well, like, I, 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 now we lose him. I know. Oh. I just would. I don't know. In this world, it doesn't seem like you just go in your bed. Like you're just laying in bed. Well, like no, I I've lived a good life. I guess it was like I never imagined them getting a swift. Well, I mean, Annie took out the others, so I guess they were a bit more swift. But like. I, I know they're never going to die a peaceful death, but, like, shit, man. If I was in his position, though, even though I I know he doesn't know how other soldiers had died, but if I had a choice, I would choose that death rather than Annie spinning me around on a fucking... Uh, uh, I mean, it's funny. I you remember know. that, right? Yeah, I feel uh, like that would have been quicker than getting ripped apart. I, I feel like almost anything would be better than being eaten alive. Um, he wasn't, he could have, he could have still been conscious enough while being spun around that fast. That's fair. Also, because his literal last words were, please let me go. Yeah. And she fair. looks at him, I, I smiles, like would... and she spins. Right. I feel like he would have gone unconscious after a few seconds of that, you know? 
but I could. All right, that's fair. No, I mean that's we'll never know, and I'm happy to never know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah I gotta. Nice. I I got to be honest. If I was an old man in that universe and I was just like in my like in my bed coughing and everyone's like grandpa and I'm, I would get up and I'd be like give me a fucking suit. I'm gonna fuck something up. If I'm gonna die, I'd rather honestly I'd be like die in my bed. Fuck that. If I die and shit myself, it will be in a titan's mouth. <laughs> oh, but uh. I mean, isn't that a good way to go? I mean, I, I guess. I Grandpa mean, I died, died by... Peacefully. Grandpa died. Yeah, Grandpa died. He then voided his bowels. It was in a titan's mouth. I saw him laughing. It was a good day. Oh it was a good day. <laughs> yeah. But, everyone, um, in, everyone in that family gets to tell that story lovingly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love the phrase they tell it lovingly, um, but so uh, the thing is with this season, I think it was yes, there was a lot answered, but when you introduced that Beast Titan to me, I feel like that was a bit of an issue where it felt like it was slow in a, in a way. Not that it was there's so many other things that like revved up, so it really wasn't slow, but it felt like when you introduced that, and I'm like, where are we going with this? and then don't right. pick it up. I'm kind of like, guys, I'm obviously it was in the manga. I'm sure it was kept at that exact part because I haven't actually read up to that point yet. So I'm sure it was like put in the exact way that, you know, it should have been, but yeah. it still feels like it should have been later. When it's done as a season like this with like a year gap. Yeah. I guess like, it's funny. You, I don't know. Could it felt like we were finally yeah. starting to see some like hierarchy of like who's in charge. So I was cool with it. Yes. Yes, but no, no. It's only because we got it early in the season, then nothing, then at the end. That's why. Right. Okay. With a bunch of other stuff in the middle not necessarily getting answered. Because, like, I don't think anyone looked at, even though uh, the Ymir thing was cool, no one looked at her and thought, well, you were, like, are you a Titan? Because of how she wasn't even really focused on throughout the right. first half of the show. Now, granted, yeah. I like that they're giving other people um, backstory. That's really good. Her and the princess, yeah. apparently, Historia. Right, yeah. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm not loving the what they ended up doing around the end of the season, but I do love the idea of backstory, especially now introducing Historia in this way. She's definitely going to tie into the church, and it looks like if they were trying to get – because it looks – okay, so this is what's really interesting and weird, talking about different groups and everything, right? It looked like Berthold and Reiner were like, all right, got to take Eren to our boss. And Ymir was like, all right, cool. I'm going to take her to my boss, the church. And it's like, wait, what's happened? Two different groups? What? Yeah. No, I mean, I, for Ymir, it felt like she's like, I can't go back to, you know, the humans and the Survey Corps because, well, they know I'm a Titan now. But I also And I can't go back to you, assholes. Well, yeah, I don't know if I can trust you guys enough to side with you and take Aaron back with you to your boss. Because it felt like for her, she's like, I just kind of want to be on my own and not have to deal with any of you schmucks. Yes, which is true. And then, yeah, there was a lot of back and forth in that, which was, I mean, I don't know how to feel about all that back and forth and how many times it felt like she switched sides. I don't know how to feel about yes. that. Well, I don't know what I was more upset at, her switching sides or... Aaron, who I understand is very mad because his two, who he thought was his two friends, pretty much straight up yeah. betrayed him. It's funny. My two friends betrayed mother. me. Also, no, my two friends betrayed me. Also, Ymir is bad too, I think. I don't know. I don't really know you well, Ymir. <laughs> I don't really know you well enough. <laughs> but I'm still angry generally, and I get it, right? Aaron's a hothead, and again, they're all still kids. At least anyone who isn't yeah. anyone who hasn't been a Titan for thousands of years are still kids, you know? Yeah. My issue here though is the fact that when you have the guys like, All right, 
I'll tell you the information you want to know. I don't want to know the information. What? I'm mad. Are you... What? Tell me it yeah. now. Wait, I... No, I was... I was just going to tell you it. Tell me it right now or else I'll get mad again. I'm... Kid, I'm so fucking confused. Like... Right. Yeah. What was... I'm sorry, man. Like, it felt like... It's like, all right. It feels like Aaron is just getting mad just to go against the plot. Like, I'm sorry, not right. to go against. Just to keep the plot, like, going longer. It feels like Aaron is just getting mad for the sake. And granted, again, yeah. it makes it makes sense. Like his friends betrayed him, Matt. What are you talking about? But it's just the idea that, like, my first thought, it, even with all the anger, I would ask why. Yeah, and right. it felt like Aaron wasn't even caring about the why. And it's like, right. what? I think at that point he just wanted to fucking kill them. But I'm not saying he doesn't. He shouldn't, right? Believe me, right, I'm not no, saying I'm I not... wouldn't want to either. My whole thing is, right, exactly. look, I'm, it's kind of like, I'm going to fucking kill you. However, right. because we're on different tree branches here, tell me why, right. and then I'll fucking yeah. kill you. Right, that's the thing. That's what Ymir's trying to tell him. Like, dude, don't you think you want information for the Survey Corps? Like, don't you think you should hear them out first? Nah. I think he's... The idea is, like, he is so hot-headed and he's so pissed off. It's like, you're the reason my mother was murdered. I'm going to slaughter you, and I don't care what you have to say. It's like, Aaron, calm the fuck down for a split second. Murder them after. (laughs) That's the thing, yeah. And also, I have to admit, yes, it is about his mom. And believe me, believe you me, in no way am I sitting here like, it's just just a parent. Like, I do get it 100%. The issue is... The question is, why? Why is yeah. my mom dead? Not, my mom is dead. Urgh. Why is my mom right. dead? Why? What did she yeah. die for? Right. You know? Right. Yeah. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying that you're telling me that I'm wrong, but it's just like the idea of like, what did my mom die for? Not just like, she's a dead. She's a dead. And it's like, because <laughs> the thing is, I know that, like, he's... Oh God, how old are they anywhere? It's supposed to be, like, 13? No, no. They're at least 15, 17, somewhere in there. Okay. Well, because wasn't he... How old was he when his mom died? I thought he was... Was he 10? Or well, gosh, yeah, he could have been 12, were, to be fair. No, they were... Yeah, they were young at that point. I don't think they were teens yet. I think they might have been... But no, like no, but that was, like, a five-year gap. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It was five years gap. So if it was gap. ten, then they're then they're fifteen, or if it was if they were twelve, then they're seventeen. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I'm only saying it because like I understand he's not a fully fledged adult, but like there's always just that whole why, and it feels like he just yeah. foregoed that completely, and it was done oh, yeah. not just because he's a teenager, but it was done because it was like we'll get to that plot later. We have right, episode yeah. time. It's like, Aaron, the plot is not ready to answer those questions. We need you to stall. <laughs> That's kind of what it felt like, and it was a little frustrating yeah. because, like, I like you know. And by the way, I don't think it was bad. The second, the second we had Aaron sitting around, like, look, man, I'm I I can't get you like this, and just jumps him. I was like, all right, right. that's fun. Oh, yeah, that. like, that that was hilarious. The, the idea that Reiner, like, knows him, knows him enough to be like, you still have a mouth. You're going to try and fucking bite me. <laughs> That's, no, no, how funny would it be? No, no, it's like, Aaron bites Reiner. Reiner has a directive, turns into a titan. Oh, God. Why did well, it have to be the mouth? Because the ones in the forest would try and eat him. Oh, God, yeah. that would have been a smarter plan. Bite him, make him transform, and then he gets attacked by the other Titans. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, also, by the way, did you... By the way, did you also think that Ymir was, like, super dead? I, uh, yeah. I, I thought she was going to die. And then she didn't. So, so, kind of so I'm confused. What does it take to kill one of them? Because, for all we know, Annie yeah. is alive and well. Right, because she crystallized herself into a coma. Yeah. So, are are 
is every Titan still good that we know about? Is every human Titan still good, I guess? Like, good as in alive. Uh, I guess. Because I mean, cause... I'm sitting there and I'm like, what does it take to kill them? Because I, I thought I Ymir was like was like dead. I was like, oh, it sucks for her, man, because she got that turn and and she was like, I've been you know here to protect you the whole time. I was like, oh, it's sweet. This is this is interesting. Yeah. And then I was like, oh no, but she's dead. And then her plot was like, actually, she's not. Wow. I'm like, wow. That came rather quickly. I'm sure in the manga, you know, waiting a month between each, it feels more impactful. Yeah. But but for the anime, I'm like, wait, what? She's she's not. Okay. Right. But um. But oh yeah. yeah. So and weren't you you were talking to me about uh, Ymir and Historia? Yes. One point? Yes. Yes. Speaking. Well, because you, you even mentioned her turning sides, and I mentioned way earlier, like, on the phone before we began the podcast, that it really, and I mean fucking really frustrated me. The fact that, look, look, man, I'm, uh, here's the issue, right? I just wanted her mm-hmm. to pick a side and stick with it and to not look. do this weird, because, like, look, I get it, right? Sundere's exist. It's okay. <laughs> it's anime. And also, just, by the way, basically like, can we have her and get it over with, please? Yes, right. And here's the, yeah, just be so dead. I get it over with. And here's the thing too, I would like to mention. There's so many like bromances in anime that I'm happy to have uh-huh. these two have this kind of um, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but because I can't think of a, a female equivalent, I'm sure there is one. I just can't think of one. But like. In my opinion, I'm like, all right, if they're actually into each other, into each other, that's great. Good for them. Like, I right. actually was hoping. I was like, are you, are you actually into each other? Because that would be really cool right. and that would be interesting. But to have it be less of them being interested in each other, being, uh, you're a good, it's funny. Just, I, when it was, um, what's it called? When it was uh, Historia, you're a really good friend. And I'm like, oh, Ymir, I'm so sorry. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> No, because she was like, I can't let you go, Ymir. You're my best friend. Oh, no, Ymir, I'm so sorry. You're like a sister to me. Please, Historia, please stop. You just just see Ymir, like, drop her. It's like, oh, 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 shit. My God. But but no, but my, my whole point, though, right, is that I felt like it just became too much of, like, Ymir just being like, you know what? I don't care about you. I'm taking you back. Why? Because I wanted to protect you. By taking me back to the people well, that would want to kill me? You're right. I want to protect you by taking you away. What? You're right. I want to protect you by leaving. What? Right. You're right. I'm lying. Well, I'm just trying to protect sh- myself. What? Right. You're right. That was a lie. Well, to save you okay. from me, from me, from you, from Aaron, from me, from you, from the Beast Titan, to churches, to Ryan, okay. or, or her, and Bolt, and also Annie, and then there's Mikasa. What the f- what? Right. Like, it just became so fucking convoluted that all I wanted was just to have one of them say, I love you, and the other one to say, as a friend, Ymir? My heart drops again. Yeah. But I just, all jokes aside, I just wanted them to be happy together. And after a while, and again, I don't know how it looks in the manga. Maybe in the manga it makes more sense. Maybe it reads differently. But watching it in anime form, just, it didn't break my heart. Right. It just made me rip off my own face. I started to look like the Colossal Titan by the end of it. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I, I think the I, idea, like, this, they're going for Ymir being like, I, I want to stay with you, but I also have this driven, you know, nature into me of I need to save myself first and foremost. So she's struggling with the idea of trying to help other people, but also watching her own back and not giving a crap about anyone else. Which it's is fine. To be that struggle, but, yeah, but it's, it's dragged out a lot. 
it just – and that's the thing, too, by the way. I think I would be okay if it was scattered, but the problem is that it dragged out in one season for, like, three episodes in so many different conversations. Right. And then that the chase scene. It just <laughs> – yeah. And it just – and it just got to the point where it was just like, you know, if if she leaves, Ymir leaves, without Historia in the first place, then what was the fucking point? Like, I right, I know yeah. some might say, oh, but it's growth, or oh, but it's drama, and drama happens. But you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of, and I know we're going to get shit for this, and you know what? Bring it on in the comment section, everyone. I love you all, but bring it on. Uh, it felt like Supernatural, the show Supernatural, <laughs> where I loved, and I would recommend that show to you, Tristan, because I really loved earlier right. seasons of that show. And in a way, I kind of want to get back into it. They actually had a crossover recently. I swear to God, I'm not lying to you. You can, you can look this up. You can Google it. Uh, it was Supernatural crossover with Scooby-Doo. Oh, God. It was really funny from what I heard. They were animated. Right. It was great. Oh, Because Warner Brother, Warner Brother it. owns both. Right, right. But anyway, point is, is that I stopped watching it at one point because it felt like the brothers kept on getting drama thrown at them rather than having right. it come naturally. Yeah. Where it felt like after, you know, I, I watched about maybe eight seasons. Before I'm on season nine, it's currently on 13. And it just felt like the brothers would be okay, and all of a sudden, something would happen, and one of them would be like, I'm sorry, Sammy, but I can't believe that you ate my ham sandwich. I can't be with you because of this. Come on, Dean. No, I can't, Sammy. And then they would just go their separate ways, and then the rest of the season would be them finding their way back to each other. And it's like, holy fucking shit again. This is happening again. So the way this was so drawn out with just, like, I mean, literally, it was just, uh, you know, it's like, look, if we're going, I have to take her. I want to protect her. Okay. Well, why do you, why are you taking me? Because the church. Dun, dun, dun. Just kidding. I lied to you. Never mind, we're, go- we're leaving with the Survey Corps together. Oh, that's beautiful. Actually, no, we're not. Okay, so then I'm going with you. No, you're not. What the fuck? Why no. would you not take her now if you were going to take her then? Yeah. So that is what got me so mad out of this entire season. You thought it was the Beast Titan thing, everybody. But at the end of the day, it was that. Because, look, yeah. again, I wanted them to be so much more. They even had the backstory. Uh, they had, like, the flashback episode to something that we never really right. saw in the first season. You know, you got it expanded on them. When in the first season, it's funny, you had to remind me that they actually existed because of the fact that they were yeah. so minor Right. in that yeah, season. Yeah, it's nice that we're yeah. pulling in what seemed like background characters into the front fold with their own stuff. That's nice. Yes. Yes. As a concept, I love it, especially because Historia is probably going to be one of the biggest characters in the show going forward. Right, yeah. Because of that connection to the church. Right. Like, apparently she, apparently she's the, what was it, the second child, where it's like, well, one of them has to become, one of them has to rule the, you know, the church, and the other one's going to fucking die in a field. We don't care. Right. So, but apparently when it's like, wait, where did she go? They started caring, apparently. Right. So, 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 what kind of a cult yeah. do you have? Yeah, so it's, it's very interesting what kind of, you know, cult history we're going to see and all that stuff. So, uh, or, you know, the, the, the church, the religion, whatever you want to call it in this universe. Um, it's going to be very interesting because I just don't know what their plan, like I mentioned it earlier, but what do you think their plan is? Like, I have no fucking idea what their plan could be. I just, that's I know you were saying there might be other factions, but like, what would the churches, like, what, would, what is their goal in all this? Unless they're all fucking yeah, I, Titans in disguise. Like, what is their goal? I mean, it feels like there are also pawns now, in a sense. So I really don't know what they're going to try and do. 
You know who I'm curious about, I think, the most out of every character in this show right now? Who? Oh. I'm the random-ass dude who appeared with the Beast Titan who had binoculars. Who the fuck are you? You mean on top of the wall? Yeah. At the end? No, I think that, yes. was, the, that was the Beast Titan. He was the one who came out of the Titan body. No, no, but there was... Wait, what? Was there another person? No, there was someone... Yeah, I thought there was. I could swear there is. Let me check. Maybe maybe no, you're I right. Was, um, I thought he was the one who came out of the Titan. Oh, he might have been. I'll check that right now because they're on my DVR. Um, but I have a, So I have a question for you. Did you notice how they actually switched up the animation a little bit for Sasha and the other woman who actually experiments on Titans? Oh, yeah. Because in the first, because uh, they showed them in the first season, but my problem was I don't think they really changed their animation enough to make me, other than like the goggles, to show that they're two completely different characters. Right. So in my opinion, they actually curved her nose, the one who actually uh, has the goggles. They curved her nose a lot more so that when she wasn't sitting there with like, you know, like uh, with, you know, Titans next to her, you could actually tell, oh, you are not Sasha because they look very similar, dude. Right. We talked about this last time, actually. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see what you're saying. Let me explain why I th- I didn't pick up on what you're talking about. Uh, the whole Titan thing. Okay. You could still yeah. see the guys. Uh, you could still see the Beast Titan's eyes open. So it looked like to me, he was like it's just him. Right. Like okay. it looked like he had a human friend. <laughs> gotcha. Like Beast Titan and his human friend. Oh, and for some odd reason, I thought his glasses were binoculars. Whatever. That's what happens when you don't do a podcast. Usually we do them the, like the night or the day of watching it. But we waited a week, so I'm yeah. like, look at those binoculars. It's like, Matt, those are just glasses. No. Although, we do have to ask, again, did he turn into that guy? Or apparently there's a jacked dude. Dude with fucking, like, 18 abs. No. <laughs> Right. In the fucking outside the wall, and apparently he's just a normal guy. <laughs> like he had, like I'm sorry to say this, but like, because this has to be his human form, instead of the reverse. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It just would be so odd if it's just like, I mean, I know it's an anime, but still, like, yeah, I'm just a jack dude. I I worked out a lot. <laughs> I did a lot of. You see, before the world turned the shit, we actually did have CrossFit. So oh I just God. did that. Oh like, God. how do you, like, I have not seen one cat. Like, I feel like maybe, maybe Levi would have abs like that. Maybe. Yeah. With the way he but spins like, around in the air, projects his own yes. gravity. <laughs> well, let's not get, let's not go there. Yeah. Let's but, not get um, into physics. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Not in this show. So there was a really fun point that me and you were talking about the show. Um, when after Aaron gets captured by, you know, uh, uh, Reiner and Bertolt, Um mm. That was a cool fight, too, watching Aaron square off with Reiner. I really thought he oh. was going to snap him in half. I really did. I got it, yes. But at the end, I mean, I thought at he the was, end of that fight. I, yeah. Yeah, I, it's funny. I I wish that he did snap him in half, but like still ended up losing due to other, you know, factors. Right. Like I wanted the satisfaction well, yeah. of Aaron winning, but still being captured. Yeah. True. Because it seems that like was just my take on it. I, mean, I guess he kind of just awoke to his Titan powers, so he really doesn't know how to control them. So it it makes sense that he doesn't win against these other people who have had them for a while, foreseeably. Well, but that's the interesting thing. It's like, you never see Aaron actually win any of his fights. And it's kind of like, I'm I'm supposed to be cheering for him, aren't I? Aren't I? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, like, believe me, I don't, we don't want, uh, I don't know, I can't speak for you, but I assume, and I feel like you're going to back me up here, we don't want, like, a Goku situation where, like, every single fight is just Goku annihilate, like, you know, beating the, the big bad right. guy or whoever yeah, it is. I, but, I like, don't expect Aaron to, like, annihilate everyone he fights, but, like, I mean, but, I guess he won against Annie, but then again, that didn't feel like a win either because she just crystallized herself, and I was like, well... So much for that. You know what I think? You know what I think the problem is too, and I think it's just something that it's it's I don't know like whose fault to blame. I don't know if it's anyone's fault at all, really. It's the fact that uh, we're so used to saying, "Oh, this is season one, this is season two. So you see this growth being a lot faster. But because it's adapting okay. a source material that's just an ongoing manga, to say season one, season two it's really just one continuous show. Like, the season thing sure. might, shouldn't even exist, really. Well, I mean, I think the season thing helps just in bringing the anime out itself, because then they don't have to no, worry no, about yes. being a continuous running thing. They can take their time and do season by season. It might take well, no, no, that's longer, obvious. but it's a lot less stressful, too. No, no, no. Uh, no, that's obvious. I'm saying it, or I, I hope it's obvious to those out there. I, I mean more so that it's... um. Like, in our minds, we're like, why does Eren not win anything? And we have to be like, well, wait a minute. Actually, not much has happened in their universe for him, too. Like you said earlier, but even hitting that home even harder. Like, this is, like, even just them as fighters, they've been training with this gear, but even then, they're not like, um, oh, God, uh, the, the other member of the garrison. The one who the one who saved them when their mom passed. Oh, um Yes. Hans, Hans. Yeah. Oh, so God, they're not yeah. like him. I know. Fuck. I know, I can't even I know. God damn it. But my point is though, is that they're not in his position. He's had so much training with it because he's been doing it for years. Yes, he's been slacking for a lot of them, but still he's been <laughs> doing that for years. Where where they are literally super duper new to all this, in theory. Right. Yeah. Like the fact that Eren and Mikasa and Armin are alive is truly because they're the main characters, really. Yeah, I mean, it's so it's so funny because Eren even got eaten before already, and then came back. It's funny. I mean, Armin I was going to say nearly been eaten. So yeah, I was going too. to say if we flipped, if we flipped Aaron and Marco, Marco would be the fucking main character right now. And heck, both yeah. of them were eaten. So you know what? Yeah. But um, yeah. But my whole point though is the fact that like I'm so I'm trying to say that the idea of a season to us it shows this style of like this kind of progression and this plot progression that really, yes, they try to fit it into a season, but at the same time, it's something that, you know, the manga, it's just every volume, it's just constantly progressing and stuff like that. Right. So when we think of it, we think of it like, like in other words, uh, they wouldn't be doing something like this potentially with like certain other animated shows in the U.S., like maybe like Star Wars Clone Wars, even though that one is very story-oriented, I don't know if they would end stuff like this or have it be right. this kind of pace because yeah. they're just making something new, right? They're just making right. it to their, yeah, to their specifications where this has to adapt it in a nice roundabout way in 12 episodes. Yeah. And all, so that's the thing. Yeah. So it's just, it's rough because we see season, I, what I'm trying to get is like we see season two and we're like, wow, Aaron's losing everything. Whereas, I don't know what volume of the manga this would have been. Right. But but either way, though, I will admit, though, I feel like Eren got a really good advantage, and the reason why he could have taken down them, or at least Armored, is because of the fact that he was doing things that Armored was like, yeah, no, I'm a titan. And Eren's like, yeah, well, I'm really good at hand-to-hand, so fuck it. And Armored's like, wait, shit. I thought, like, Aaron fighting, like, 
that's the thing. You, you know, it's the, that's the interesting thing about these these humans that are becoming titans, or vice versa in some cases. I don't even know yet. Uh, the idea that you have to fight like a human, because obviously we know that you're different in some way or another. Like you walk differently, you run differently, whatever the fuck it is, but you look different. But if you fight like a human, that is really what separates you from some of these titans. Or, right. you know, some of these people that are fighting like Titans. Because they have this, like, you know, they, they're, not that they're sluggish necessarily. The Titans, the, the ones that are Titan Titans are. But just this idea that, like, they're like, yeah, we fight like this. And Eren's like, actually, I'm a pro wrestler now, motherfucker. Yeah. And Armored's like, shit. Right. So, um, yes. But, but how do you feel about the idea that apparently humans are becoming titans in other ways. Not just the Aaron way, but apparently like the whole town potentially may have become a titan. Uh, we hear at the end of the season that they're learning like, uh, you have like um, the, uh, you have Irvin. Sir, I have something important to tell you. Like, what do you think? Right. Oh God, he lived what do you think? He lost an arm and he's still around. Jesus. Yeah, I love Irvin, but that was too much even for me. I mean, for me, that just made me love him more. That was the most badass thing. He's like, I'm literally being eaten. It's like, sir, no, keep charging. It's like, oh, oh no, 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 way. He... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying that he couldn't have had that moment. It's the fact that after that moment, apparently he's just super duper, like, good with walking around. Like, yeah. I'm okay, or, like, riding the horse. I'm like, even the horse didn't fucking leave him or piss itself, like... Right. Hey, I mean, that's some of the, the horses thing. are pretty damn loyal. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, my gosh. The horse, gosh, the, ho- the horse is like, e- you need my fucking leg, too? I'll still run. Yeah. Oh, my... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, but, no, what I'm trying to get at here, though, is that it's... I'm okay with Irvin, like, having that moment, but then him riding the horse after, still charging, and then being alive in bed. I'm like, guys, there's a reason why when, you know, when um, when Eren loses all that blood, he lives. Titan shit now. Right. Unless Irvin's – that's funny. I, in this scene, I got to admit that's to you, Chris. I got to admit, though, Tristan, in this scene, I'm yeah. looking at his bandages like, grow it back, motherfucker. Yeah, right, exactly. Just after all that. Yeah. But, uh, if, he doesn't, if his arm stays that way, he's, he's clean. Right. Yeah, pretty much. I get the feeling it will stay that way. I don't think he's going to transform. Sir, your arm is missing. Of course, it's always been. Um, no, sir, your left arm is now missing. Shit. Well, like, it just regrew back, so we had to, like, quickly cut off an arm. Right. So he's like, oh, um, so I'm a titan. I'm a, I'm a, you're dead. <laughs> I have to, I have to kill you now. This sucks. I have to keep, I like you. Levi's just like, are we really doing this right now? Yeah. But um, uh, one thing I want to say about Levi, too, I know Levi is super duper good at his job and we've seen him be good in season one. But I do think that season two Levi was definitely a bit of a disappointment because they didn't really let him shine. Yeah, like, I mean, it's hard when you kind it's, of in the background for this one. But it kind of sucks because like it's hard to make a character say that he's OP and then because he's so OP, you can't use him. Right. Well, because then you had Mikasa basically being his spot, too. And really, I think Armin and I, could come into his own as another Irving character. Oh, most definitely. Person. Yes, most definitely. And I want to say, too, I I definitely loved you know Mikasa being the way that she was, although I found it odd. I didn't know what they were going for with her and, and Eren later. Like, it's yeah. so odd that they were in the middle of a, And I know it was just to ramp up the drama, but just them being in the right. middle of a battlefield and kind of being A-OK, despite everything, was just odd. Right. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we've, I mean, we've always kind of known Mikasa was not saying anything, but it's like, yeah, we, we kind of knew. 
and I don't know if Aaron does reciprocate those feelings or whether he was just like, yeah, we're kind of in the middle of something. All right, fine, you know, sure. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna walk into a, like a room that he's in, and he's gonna be like, "Oh God, sorry, occupied." And they're gonna find they're not gonna see what he was touching, but they're gonna see a picture of a fucking dead titan in the other hand. I think oh, that's the only oh, way oh. he goes. That's the oh. only way he goes. He does not because he'll be like, "I love you." He's gonna be like, "Right, we can procreate." Oh, he has no fucking oh idea. He does not even think about that shit. I mean, it's yeah, it felt like me. It's more of a one-track mind. He's like, I'm doing nothing with my life other than destroying them. Like, you, you realize we can actually have a normal life after, you know, like, don't you think about the after? No. Oh. Well then. Yes. Um, so one thing I want to mention, uh, yeah, but so Irvin is, Irvin's alive, right? But at the end there, he was talking about, like, we've discovered something. Right. So, what? But what does that? What do you think that means? Like, obviously humans can turn into titans because you notice Aaron. But like, apparently humans, like, do you think they are they're naturally becoming titans, or they're being spurred on by some weird experiments or something? Also, yeah, does that yeah. mean that there were no titans until someone turned a human into one? Oh, that that might be a possibility. Like, you know, I mentioned, I remember the first, second podcast, I was like, they were dropped from the skies. But, like, yeah, right? what's I mean, what's going on here? You, you might be right. I don't, but, but, dude, but, like, apparently humans can turn into them then as well. Like, what's, and and from the looks of it, it's not like there was a, like, there's a difference when humans turn into them as in, like, there's a difference with Eren. Right. But right. if someone turns into a Titan and they look like the one where, like, you know, we had Connie, like, that looks like my mom, she looked like right. a regular, normal old Titan. Yeah. So, what does that mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Just, I don't know. Because I don't either. This, so, this but like, must sound hilarious. But do you, to anyone who's listening that's actually read ahead. This must sound all hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Everyone's like, you fools! Um, but no, I mean, this is what we do here, right? We you know, we speculate. And also, one thing I want to mention, as we're kind of wrapping this up, not with the next five minutes, but like wrapping it up somewhat soon, um, apparently at the end of season three, and this wasn't in the English release, but I think it might have been in the Crunchyroll one, uh, or maybe it was in the original Japanese, like even, you know, not in Crunchyroll, like on TV. Someone said that at the end of the season, it showed like, something like Attack on Titan coming back in 2018. Right. Which, at the time this was aired, was 2017. Now we're in 2018, and funnily enough, there were uh, there was an Attack on Titan compilation film for season two. Oh. What I'm concerned about, what I'm concerned about is, that's is. Do you think that might be what they meant, or do you think we might actually get in like late 2018, no, we might get I'm Attack on Titan season three? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe yeah. in the summer we we'd have a season three. I don't think it'd be in the summer. I feel like we'd know by now. Mm, well, yeah, it is almost May. Sorry, maybe yeah, late I'm th- I'm, maybe in the fall. I don't know. That's what I'm. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm thinking like late this year, not December, right. but like late. All right, fair enough. But um, no, because like it would stink if a compilation movie, which Jesus, a fucking compilation yeah. movie. If that's our 2018 Attack on Titan, that would suck. Right. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially because, like, look, I get it. Attack, like, in no way do I want these to be rushed, but, like, there's so much source yeah. material that it would it would be nice to have one per year. Right. You know, especially because, again, Attack on Titan, it, it, I mean, I don't know. It's funny. I don't know maybe if someone is getting stiff somewhere. I say stiff as in I know everything is a contract. I'm just saying that, like, I don't know if, like, because I know that Attack on Titan prints money, Right. 
But yeah. to be fair, we don't know if, you know, how much the animators are getting paid. We don't know how much the animation studio is getting paid. You know, again, they can have all this stuff on their plate. They're like, look, we can only take, we all, we can only take on Attack on Titan right. once per every two so years much. or something. Right. right. Yes. But at the same time, though, like, it prints so much money that, like, to an, it's just from an American perspective. Not that, I, again, not that I want, like, the Supernatural fucking 13 seasons or anything, but, like, from American perspective, to, like, have a, a show and it, for everyone to be like, all right, it'll come back in two years, just does not yeah. make sense from an American perspective. Like, they, they have pilots. They're just like, oh, I'm not pilots, but, like, pilot seasons. They're like, you know what? This seems... Like, it could be worth something, but we'll just create ten of them. And then the second the show does well at episode, like, three, even though ten was written as a finale, you will have a fucking network be like, we've ordered nine more or six more. And it's like, guys, we wrote ten as a finale. Shouldn't those six be season two? And they're like, nope, they'll be added on to season one. We want this money train to keep going. Yeah. You know, like, it's just insane, like, what, you know, American, like, the you know, the American perspective of, like, you know, making money with a show and uh, cash cows and all this. And it's funny how people think, like, Dragon Ball Z is, is the oldest cash cow, this well they keep going to, not knowing that, you know, there's a fucking 20-year gap yeah. between, yeah, between shows. But, uh, but it's still just insane that, like, we had to wait this long for season two. And we now we might be actually waiting two years. And yeah, sure, two years isn't like fucking four to five, but still, yeah, right. That's like it's in, it's insane though to think like Attack on Titan season two, unless it got a luke, unless, unless I don't know that it got a lukewarm reception. I felt like there were rumbles in the fandom of like, oh shit. Like people who people who put their jackets away in a closet somewhere for years are like, it's time. Right. Yeah. Theme music plays. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, speaking of, how did you feel about the third opening? Uh, I liked it. The third ending creeped you know? me the hell out. Oh, not the third. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm not yeah, a big. Third. I'm not a. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm not yeah, a big third. fan of the ending. I think it's the third. The yes. ending creeped me the fuck uh, out. Not gonna lie. I'm not a. Especially yeah, with I'm like, just the not a big fan. Stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then. I think I think the imagery, I think it might be going through, like we might see some of that stuff later on in the show because it feels like that imagery is like on the walls of the church or something like that yeah. or in scripture. Well, it feels very mythology. But I'm wondering it's if it's part of theirs, quote unquote? Yeah. No, I think it's part of their mythology. That, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like that would be interesting. Um, ooh, one interesting thing from the manga, and I don't know if it got adapted into an OVA or not, but um, but because I, I was like a bonus chapter, I think it was like twenty two point five, because I was because I was, I was I'm up to like t- chapter twenty three twenty four, um, but what's interesting was this chapter had a woman writing a diary, and in the diary she was writing like you know her like stuff about like oh hey you know. Uh, the um you know this titans are like these you know this titans are like that yada 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 and she was part of the survey corps and everything and she ends up getting attacked by one titan who actually says i I think oh the titan actually says you're with lady ymir and bows to her right and she's like you can talk what the fuck (laughs) <laughs> and she writes this in her notebook, really confused, and then the Titan starts eating her because Titan's, like, I guess, like, scared. Like, wait a minute, you're not with Lady Amir, and then starts eating her just like the others do. And then guess who finds the notebook, like, I think months later, but Levi. And so Levi finds the journal slash notebook, and he's like, they can talk. And he's like, she did not die in vain. And I'm wondering if he brought that to Irvin as well, so that's even more, oh. like... Yeah, probably. I would I would say definitely he brought that to Irving. Do you think that's why he was like? Because I forgot at the end of the season, did they mention that he brought something to Irvin or no? I I don't know if they said it or like he said he gave it to her, but like I'm pretty sure he would have given that to him to compile like you know information on the Titans. 
I'm pretty well, sure any yeah, information it feels... can tie it, considering them goes to him. Well, the reason why I'm saying it is because it seems like at the end, Irvin really had that conviction of like, yo, Titans can talk. This is some weird shit to Pixis. Yeah, that too. Like there was an interesting conviction where I'm like, I wonder if he saw that notebook. I wonder if he, you know, again, the the Connie's town situation is like, what in the fuck is going on here? I think Levi's whole deal with it was like, so they're sentient? So I've been killing other beings. Not that he's like, you know, I, I like they've killed millions of us. I'm not going to be, they even killed, you know, everyone in my squad and arguably the woman I was going to marry at some point. I, I'm not going to show them mercy, but like, I thought they were just mindless beasts this whole time. It's like, now you're telling me they actually have intelligence? Fuck everything. Yes, it was actually super interesting because, so it seems as if, at least just from what we're seeing in plot, that maybe the the rumors about Levi not having a heart of gold are actually bullshit. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, well, no, because... But here's the thing, dude. I'm not saying that Levi never cared I mean, about anything or anyone. I'm just right. saying I know that they kind of picked him up I, out of the gutter, but <laughs> yeah, but that's the yeah, but that all that means is he probably was a thief, not like a murderer. Right. Yeah. I mean, they you know? say, like it made it seem like his reputation made him sound like a murderer, but like again, no, that's they did. But those are talk. those are that's what I'm saying. Those are rumors. Yeah. No one ever confirmed it. I think it's just the so idea. The, every like he's he, his skills scared the crap out of everyone so much they just started making rumors about yeah he's a mass murderer. He's like I don't care yeah. enough to disprove you. Exactly because you think I can fucking kill you. Ah. Exactly. So, right. uh, but what's interesting is now how the roles have reversed. Where like we have, we kind of have Irvin in this weird like Goku situation. Where it's just like, why are you smiling? Because we know more about him. Thanks, Goku. <laughs> well, yeah, that's Levi, Levi looking at him. It's like, why are you so happy about this? He's like, because we're one step closer to our goal. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's true, right? Like, it's kind of funny. It's like, well, we've killed all of them. All right. Well, close your eyes. Say, we've killed them three times, and we'll bring them back. Oh, wait, that's right, Levi. That's not how the fucking world works. Oh, well, because it sucks, but, like, they're still dead. There's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is not kill more, or find out how to potentially reverse the process. Right, yeah. Oh. So, that's, you know, that's what's interesting to me, anyway. But what yeah. were you saying? I think the the last piece to the puzzle, well, not puzzle, but that we should mention on here, how Hannes went, it's the same fucking Titan that eats Aaron's mom. Why? 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 I think it was just, I think it was good for the story. I mean, I hate that it ate him as well, but still, it was good for the, like, for the, the garrison. I can't remember his name. Yeah. But still, though, I think it was good for the story. And it really opinion. sucked with Aaron even more. Like, I feel like Aaron well, yeah, is that much more broken. Yeah. Because it's like, I can't do anything. Why? Well, I mean, it unlocks his new power, I guess you could say. But even at that point, it's kind of like, so he's going to go down further into the psychological wormhole of, you know, uh, PTSD and all of that. <laughs> You know what I think really got me, like, really sad and frustrated? Like, just the idea of, oh, what's being thrown at us? Are those, like, pieces of a building? <laughs> those are horses. We're getting horses thrown at us. Oh, oh, yeah, we are legitimately horses. getting horses thrown at us. Oh, right. Like, Even um, one of the... Gene, looking, looking back, it's like, the Titans are trying to eat Reiner, and he's still throwing shit at us. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So, uh, I still love him. Like, I hated him at, at the beginning, but, like, his character arc, I don't think I mentioned that a lot at the first cast about the season one, which I wanted to mention more, but, like, his character development has been amazing. 
Whose? Gene, the gray haired, he wanted to be in the military. Oh, police. Gene, yeah. Was, uh, Sorry. Like, I thought yeah. you were. Yes. I thought you'd know because I thought you said, oh, God, Reiner is doing this. And you're like, but I love his character development. I'm like, Gene or Reiner? Oh, oh, yeah. No, Gene, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got to say, yeah, Gene has really grown on me. And frankly, funnily enough, with his haircut, I do wonder if they were trying to tease that he could have been the Titan. Because his haircut oh, is God, very yeah. similar to that's, Reiner's. That's yeah, that's kind of funny actually. Yeah. Oh, and that was the other um, thing that I wanted to say that I noticed about Reiner. Like I, I talked about it a little bit to you um, when they were fighting um, Anne, Annie. And Reiner gets grabbed by her. And the fact that he had, it looks like he had steam coming off of him after he cut his way out of her hand. And like the whole flashback they have with, you know, Aaron and, um, oh God, now, and Armid talking about it. It's like, so we, you know, it's definitely them. And Aaron's trying, like, it's, no, it can't be them. It, this can't be how it is. And they, they look back at like all the weird shit that he said. Oh, and just the fact that when, like, when they were back on top of the wall, it's like, so in the subtitles, at least for me, it was like, so yeah, we're the armored and colossal titan, and we need you to come with us. And Mikasa, like, just as Mikasa's walking away, and Aaron's just like, it, excuse me? Just Mikasa's face, like, excuse the fuck out of me? That I, I think I nearly laughed at that, just... Just at the absurdity of him being like, yeah, it's us. I'm like, oh, are, are you shitting me? Did you hit your head? <laughs> so here's the thing. The part that killed me the most, I think, that made me laugh the hardest, is just the fact that I want everyone who now knows that they're Titans to go back and watch season one. And you can, and even season two in certain parts. And it feels like okay. Berthold, at any, at any given moment, is about to uh, shit yeah. bricks. Yeah. I mean, to like, be fair, it feels it like, enough. yes, no, it feels like no matter what the moment is, it could be them going like, oh man, the steak is good. And Bird's Hold is just like, they're going to build my cover, I'm going to build my cover, I'm going to build my cover. Steak is scrum. It's so, man, it, t- it does not taste like a human body, I'll say that much. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. <laughs> Like, um, sorry, say that again. What I'm trying to get at here is, like, Titans, why would any of them be human? I'm sorry. Like, before we, they even know about Annie, what was that? Right. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Mm. Oh, don't mind like, he just, He's just insane. No, like, he just always seems like, because, like, even Reiner, like, at least Reiner, while he's having, uh, apparently, mental issues or something like that, whatever the way they wanted to portray it as, whatever he's, whatever's going on with him, at least with Reiner, though, it seemed like he felt confident, like, yes, there were some points where he had the sweat drop, because he had the sweat drop at some point, yeah, Yeah. his crystal score, no, but... What I'm saying is, like, they had, they both had sweat drops, like the anime sweat drops at certain points, but it seemed like Berthold yeah. had one at, like, the random, most inoperative, like, the uh, the oddest moments to have a sweat and to look nervous. Like, at any point, it's like, Reiner, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck what up? Yeah. Okay, good. As long as you don't it's fuck good. it up. I don't understand what you mean. Just just keep quiet. You mean about the fact that we're both Titans? Fucking damn it, Reiner! Yeah. Thank Aaron? You. What did you just say? God, <laughs> are we really gonna do this here? It's like, really? You had to say it in front of him? You kidding? Me? But no, dude, that was the exact quote. Are we really gonna do this here in the dub? And right, I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, damn. Oh no, he yeah, he says but, that in the sub too when they're on top of the wall. It's like, really? Right now? That wasn't part of yes. the plan. Oh my god. I wonder what the plan actually was. Like it, I I don't know yeah. what the plan could have been because honestly like it I don't know, man. Like I guess it was get them farther and farther away from civilization and then we'll strike. Yeah. Cuz honestly, I'm really confused cuz like it seemed like if they had this plan all along, they could have really struck at any moment with Aaron, honestly. 
Yeah. That's the one thing that I'll say about this show, even though I really do enjoy it. It does feel like a lot of people's plans are convoluted. And even though I do like these Titan reveals, and I think they do in some ways, not in all, but in some ways make sense, if their plan was take Eren, it could have been done a lot yeah. of other times. That's the other thing, too. They're probably not really the best spies. Like, I'm assuming they yeah. have plenty of fights of, oh, we should do it now. It's like, no, not now. Why not now? It seems like the perfect opportunity to do it now. No, not yet. What do you mean, not yet? What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, the not Colossal yet. Titan. He must have a big dick, right? Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh. I just... I don't know though. Like it just like again, as we we're kind of wrapping this up, I I really do like the show a lot. I just think that yeah. with some of the not even just the reveals, just the idea of like, oh, this was my secret plot, or oh, we have a secret plot. It, I mean, again, I don't know the church one yet, so I can't say it doesn't make sense. But when it comes to Berthold and Reiner, it looking at how many times things were disrupted. Like, obviously yeah. they didn't know much the first time they went in, because I'm sure they were just told, wreck shit, we'll tell you more later. But right. once they once they knew, okay, our mission is infiltrate and one day take Eren. Yeah. I'm not saying it should have been done when they were all first training, but, I mean, apparently Colossal Titan appeared again, whatever. But what I'm saying is, when you see them, like, when they went outside the wall and Annie was around, it's just like, couldn't they have... Fuck, they did it with, uh, you know, they, they, they're they talking to um, uh, to Ymir. Couldn't they have done something similar with Annie? Like, Annie, maybe. Yeah. We, like, I don't know. It's just odd. Well, that's why I um, and I know Annie kind of went rogue a bit. Like, she's like, I really Annie didn't what? want to be a part of it. He kind of went Oh, rogue. yes. Yes, and, like, yes. She threw well, it's funny, because... And then the two of them had to pick up the slack. Like, well, now we're down a man. What do we do? Yes, and I and I do want to see if we're going to. Um, I want to see if we're going to have a you know a uh, a Titan who's both a woman and also who he has not gone rogue because it does feel like we just for some reason keep on getting rogue female Titans. Mm. I want to see if there's one. I don't know if she's going to be, like, the big leader of them all. But, like, I do want to see if there's one who is just like, yeah, no, I I believe in what's going on here. Right. But, um, but yeah, so is there anything else you want to say before we officially kind of wrap this thing up? Uh, I think we hit just about everything. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait to see where this is going to go. The only reason why I say I was dehyped was because, again, I – I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we don't know who Beast Titan is as a human. We've never met him before, and yada yada. I but again, it just enough. yeah. I feel like we haven't. Like, but I'm just wondering planning. where it's yeah. I'm just wondering where it's going. That's all. And I and I wonder that both yeah. in a good way, but also in like a I I don't know. I know we couldn't speed it up because again manga, but it definitely felt a little bit slower this season in some respects. Uh, the fights. I, I have to admit the the you know the deaths. Very, still very graphic, still very gory. They weren't, you know, they weren't oh, yeah. uh, in any way toned down. Um, we didn't dial I that think, back any. No, I liked Sasha having her moment to shine. A little yeah. odd that she take down a Titan that, like, I know they're all trained, but like Sasha, to me, I mean, I guess now we know like she has these, you know, country roots of like I would hunt bears and all right. this stuff and yada She's yada. Yeah. And that was really cool. yes, actually, it was, dark but arrows into its eyes. Like, it was a small one, too, so, like, would just to be yes. able to steal yourself enough to be like, all right, don't move, don't move yet, don't move yet, all right, now! Just, like, it's literally right in front of me. If I miss, I'm completely screwed. Yes, it was super interesting, and, and frankly, again, you know, I, I'm not going to say that I hate it. Uh, super interesting, it's just, I, I, it's funny, this, it worked, I want to read the manga now, and I'm sure you do, too. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So 
you know, I hope there's more in 2018. If not, you'll see us talking or you hear us talking about this in 2019. But thankfully, though, I will admit you can listen to us talk about a bunch of other anime for Anna Saturdays, not only in the near future, but also all of our older stuff on our YouTube channel, Those Guys on the Radio, or our Blog Talk Radio account, blogtalkradio.com slash Those Guys on the Radio. Or you can also hear us through iTunes by searching up Those Guys on iTunes. So there's a bunch of different ways you can hear us. Um, also, you can watch our Those Guys Play Seasons. Uh, you and I have an episode coming up, uh, which is really cool. We're not talking any, any about it in any other way. So everything else is a surprise, but it's one that you and I were on. Everything else is a surprise. Uh, that's coming up soon in the next few weeks. Um, we also have uh, we have constant Those Guys Play, because we're in the middle of Season 4 right now. And also, uh, this, earlier this season, you and I filmed an episode of uh, we played Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee for the Nintendo GameCube, which was that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm not going to say who won, but uh, but I think we all know who won. Neither am I. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what we'll have to see there. Um, and yeah, and so hopefully. Hopefully you guys liked uh, liked this podcast. Hopefully you subscribe to the channel so you can hear more of them, and you can also see all the other a bunch of we've been doing this for years now, Tristan. All the other stuff that we've done in the past. Um, also, you can get some of our merchandise over at our main website, which is cgproduction.net slash merchandise, or over at our eBay, which is ebay.com slash USR slash those guys radio. And you can even go to our Patreon to help support us and get some other cool things along the way as well, depending on what tier you give to. You can check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Productions. Also, what you can do as well is follow not just our YouTube, but if you want to follow everything we do, you can also follow our social media accounts or even just tweet at us all of your concerns, your loving comments, your hating comments over at our uh, – you can tweet at us at, at Those Guys Radio, and you can go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash Those Guys on the Radio, and follow all of our different cool posts there as well. Thank you all so much. Love you guys, and uh, I guess I'm going to say to uh, say goodnight, Tristan. Good night, everyone. Oh, Matt's Titan. Yeah. Tristan, would a titan go? Rawr!